Bonsoir, welcome to all of you. I was surprised I was expecting something more, but that's not a problem. It's my fault. And I want to say a big welcome for this life, weekly hope and healing. We are expecting tonight to see God's glory to touch you in a great way. Uh, I want to invite you to be sure to invite your friends. Uh, uh, if you are on Facebook, just go is what I'm trying to do, is what I was willing to try to do. Uh, go just to the, the live. Here we are. And then you go to the to share the live. Let me just go to the right way. Uh, you go to the publication or there. You go to the live and then you share it for your friend. And your friends will be blessed. Your family will be blessed and will be healed. So God bless you. Tonight, I will have a special guest from Germany, and uh, we are going to pray for the sick. Uh, by the way, also, I always like uh, to that you can just write where you are watching from, uh, So, and it will be a blessing tonight. So God bless you. And before we start, I would love to invite you to go to listen a powerful song called Miracle. God bless you, and expect God's touch already during this song, and see you soon. The one who made the blind to see Is moving here in front of me Moving here in front of me The one who made the deaf to hear Is silencing my every fear Silencing my every Come on, sing it out I believe in you
Welcome again for those who just join us for this live weekly hope and healing. Every week I do have this show having a special guest from around the world and in a few minutes I will introduce a very good friend from Germany who have a strong healing anointing. Tonight we are going to pray for the sick so be sure to share this post, this live to your friends and family because we are expecting God's glory for this season. I know that it's a very challenging season. Actually, all of us, or most of us, we have major challenge. Some, they lost their job. Some, they are very sick. Um, and it's a shaking season. And But there is good news and there is hope because this morning, actually, I was uh, going to find the energy and what I need as I do every morning. I go to read and I read this wonderful book. This book, it's the Bible. And that's about the hope and healing. We are not speaking about a religion or a church, but we are speaking about a living God, the creator, our creator who loves all of you. He loves you so much. And uh, this word of God, this Bible, is giving us strength and hope. And uh, by the way, every week, uh, out of this word of God, uh, I'm bringing new, fresh inspiration, full of hope. And be sure to subscribe for free. I want to send you the hope inspiration where I'm writing a very deep, fresh revelation coming from God every week with a specific song connected to the revelation, but also a quote and healing testimony as almost every day I'm seeing miracles and healings. But this morning, as I was meditating and preparing actually this hope inspiration, the Lord brought me to 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 17. He is saying that to all of us. For our present troubles are small and won't last very long. I know for some of you, it's not a small trouble. It looks like a big trouble. But when you are God, like our almighty God from heaven, seeing down on the earth, actually our COVID-19 challenges is very small. Our troubles are very small. And that's what the Lord say. These present troubles, they are small and it won't last very long. It's already too long, but it, will, it won't last very long. Yet they produce this trouble for us, a glory that vastly outweighed them and will last forever. Lord God, we don't understand everything, but we do believe that the actual challenges it will produce in us, and even tonight in this live stream, it will produce your glory. Tonight, we open ourselves to the Holy Spirit that we can experience heaven in our place. We can hear the songs of the angels. We can hear and feel God's glory in our homes, in our places. I ask for all those who are watching, if they are Christian or not, Muslim, Buddhist, or whatever they are believing, I pray they can experience the glory of our precious Lord in the name of Jesus. My friend, welcome. You are live to this weekly Hope and Healing. And it's my great joy to introduce you a friend of mine. His name is Dr. George Carl. Dr. George is the leader of the Glory Life Network and the minister and author used internationally by God. He, together with his wife, Irina, has been traveled in full-time ministry for over 25 years. His focus is to lead people into the dimensions of the glory of God and to train them for a supernatural lifestyle. Dr. George, fresh messages filled with much love and joy are accompanied by amazing miracles and displays of God's power. Ah, it's really my great joy and privilege to welcome now Dr. George Carl. Pastor George, are you here? 
Yes, I'm here. I can hear you. So wonderful to see you again, Jean-Luc. Thanks so much. I'm so <laughs> glad you were able. I know you had some trouble to connect uh, with the live stream that we are using, but I'm glad you are here. I'm glad also to all those who just joined us. Uh, I always like to see where you are watching from. Uh, and already now we have many people who are watching through uh, my brand new YouTube channel. Please go over there. I already put tens of videos. You will be blessed. Uh, actually, there is one thing that I put uh, just few two weeks ago. It was to our healing conference uh, uh, that we do every year in one places in the world and even more sometimes. Uh, but this way you will hear the song of the angels. Actually, we were singing and the angel just came and it's recorded and you will see it's glorious. So just go over there. But there is people who are watching from the YouTube channel, the Facebook of IHM or my Facebook page or maybe George Card Facebook. So welcome to all of you. Uh, welcome to uh, Monica from Germany, Clad from Canada, Edita from London. Uh, there is John Dama from the Mauritius Islands. Welcome. I wish to be on your island right now because here it's very cold. Uh, but welcome to Christopher from Isle Sam in, in England. Uh, wonderful. Uh, Martina from Stuttgart. That's a beautiful place. Uh, I wish to be there because actually my daughter and my son-in-law with my grandson Carl they are living in Schultkart, and I miss them so much. Uh, Soraya from France. I don't know where in France. Uh, Doris from Zurich. Welcome to all of you. There is people who are watching from Doha, from Qatar. That's fantastic. From the USA. Now it's coming just right away from many places you have writing. Württemberg, Germany. From Sweden. Wow, that's amazing. Abbotsford from Canada, from Oklahoma. Many people are watching, of course, from Switzerland. Welcome. Oh, I see my mom who is watching. Mom, I love you so much. I miss you. You are so precious. I want to say to the viewers, I have the best mom ever. She is amazing. She, we just celebrate her birthday. I love her so much. She's so beautiful. Go to see the picture on my Instagram. She's amazing, gorgeous. And uh, she is a woman of God praying. And it's because of her that I can do this ministry to pray for the sick. So thanks so much, mom. I love you deeply. Uh, welcome to Sana from Belgium, uh, sailing from France. Many people from France, I don't know where in France. Uh, uh, actually, for the French people, pour tous les francophones, demain soir, nous aurons notre soirée mensuelle Miracle et Guérison à 19h, heure Suisse, heure Paris. Ne, ne, ne manquez pas cette rencontre. Allez sur Facebook ou les réseaux sociaux. Vous trouverez toutes les informations pour cette soirée Miracle Guérison. J'aurai plusieurs invités surprises et ça sera une soirée extraordinaire. So again, welcome. I was just saying that tomorrow we have the monthly Miracle Healing Service in French, as we do have now in Russian, in German, uh, in Portuguese. So we are developing that in many languages, but every month we have a global miracle healing service. So don't miss the 13th of February. But again, before I give the, the word and we talk and pray tonight, welcome to all of you people from Belgium, Johnny from Belgium, uh, Sabi from Germany, that's fantastic, from Trossingen, from Toulouse in France, from Nantes, that's fantastic uh, to see so many people watching. I'm not sure if we have people who are watching from Africa. At noon, I was doing for the French countries, and we had, like, from every African country speaking French. So welcome to all of you. Jari from Finland. That's wonderful. I'm very blessed. Oh, here we are. People from Dakar, Senegal. Wonderful. Welcome, Kanina, Karin. God bless you. I really love all of you. We have people from Brazil. Well, actually, tonight we have people from many countries. So welcome for this live weekly hope and healing. And as I say, welcome to Pastor George. Pastor George, we are living a crazy season. Um, 
what would you say to all of us who are in troubles? And as the Lord said, it's going to be, it's a small and it won't last very long. What do you say about that? Well, I, I, I would, I would um, point them out to Colossians chapter 1, verse 27, where it says, Christ in you, Christ in us, the hope of glory, which in, a, in an extended version, it reads like uh, Christ in us, the certain expectation of experiencing his glory. So alone the fact that Christ is living in you gives you the certain expectation that you will experience his glory. No matter what you go through right now, at the end there will be an experience of a greater glory than you have ever experienced before. That's just what the scripture also that John Luke just gave also indicates, and it's Christ in you. So the good thing about that is Christ in you, nobody can take away from you. You know, everything can be taken away from you outwardly. Uh, uh, your money can be taken away from you. Uh, uh, things can be taken away from you. Your ministry can be taken away from you. But Christ in you, you have got it inside of you. Nobody can take that away for, from you. And that already in and of itself, Jesus Christ in and of himself in you, already is the definite assurance that you will experience the glory of God, which is the, the provision of God, which is the healing of God, which is the, which is the breakthrough of God that you need right now, which is a new level uh, of, of, um, of his glory working in your lives. That's all contained in that glory that he announces there. And it's all rooted inside of you. You've already got it. You're already there. So you, you, so really you can cheer up and you can move forward in great hope because Christ in you, also it says in, in first John 4, 4, it says Christ in you is greater. The one who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. So he will overcome in the end. Christ in you will overcome. Jesus in you will overcome and he will lead you to even greater levels of glory than you have ever experienced before even or especially when you have gone through trials and troubles, a greater level of God's glory is waiting for you. And nobody can take that away from you. Nobody can, can hinder that because it's in you. Even if everybody is against you from the outside, the one who is in you is still so much stronger and he gives you that assurance. In the end, you will experience and you will live in, in his glory like never before in Jesus' name. So just get a fresh taste of hope right now, a fresh impartation of his hope as it's Christ in you, a definite expectation of his glory in your life. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Dr. George. Actually, you are uh, just live to this live stream. It's a weekly live stream called uh, Hope and Healing, where we are not speaking about uh, a religion or denomination, but we are speaking about hope and healing where we can find in Jesus. But uh, Pastor George, you were speaking about Christ in you. There are many people who are watching, they are not believing in Jesus. Some they are Muslim, Buddhist, some even they are sculling. They say that it doesn't work, these kind of things. So what you say, it's great for some people who experience Jesus, but what does mean? What is it Christ in you? Mm. Well, uh, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, he uh, was in the glory of God or in the glory of the Father, and he came down to this earth and he became a man in order to take us with him. Actually, you find that in no, no religion whatsoever, even not in Christian religion, you find that because it's the person of Jesus Christ who, who came down from heaven, came down to this earth, took up the cross upon him and uh, shed his blood for you so that he could take you with him into the glory of God. And that's what everybody wants, whether they are Muslim, whether they are Hindus, whether they are Buddhists. What, what they're really longing for, what the hearts of every pe person is longing for really is God's glory, really is the heart of God. And Jesus Christ is the key to this heart, heart because he has paid the price in order to make make a way for us who had no way before because we were dead in our sins and, and trespasses. So I myself, for 18 years, I have lived without God. I have lived without Jesus. I, have, I wasn't a believer at all. But I came, actually, I came to the end of my rope, so to speak. I came to wit's end. And, and uh, 
I, I and I remember the night when I was laying in in, in my bed and and uh, was was just pondering where could help come for me because I just felt so terrible. I had I had pains in my body, but also my soul really was aching. I really had severe trouble uh, in my soul, and I really was crying out and was asking. Uh, in my in my heart, I didn't believe in God, so I was just looking. Where could help come from? Could it come from this source? Could it come from that source? Could it come from there? And then suddenly, when I was looking out for that, suddenly um, uh, I remembered my mother. When I was a small child, she told me that there was a God whom you could call Father. There was a God in heaven whom you could call Father. I didn't know who this God was, but in that moment, I just felt that from this Father is, is radiating a kind of a warmth and a love. Uh, and I thought, well, if anything could help me in this situation, probably it that father, that God that you could call father. I didn't know him, but uh, I, with, the, with, the, with my deepest longing, with my deepest cry in my heart, I just said, Father in heaven, if you are real, just come into my heart and help me in my situation. And as soon as I prayed that, there was not a big light coming or an angel visiting me at that time. It was just a deep peace feeling my heart and I fell asleep and the next morning I woke up and I said, whoa, this God that you can call Father, this God, I need to get to know him for the rest of my life. I need to get to know about this God. And so later on, I found out that it is Jesus Christ who points us to this Father and that he is the, the way, he is the truth, he is the life. And no one comes to the Father except through him. So then I accepted Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior in my heart and became a believer in Jesus, not a, a somebody who belongs to some denomination or some some church, uh, basically, but but just somebody who got in a relationship with with Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior, and that's from where it all started. And this glory came inside of me, and it started to develop, and I started to get to know Him more and more. And that all that has been over thirty years ago now, and I'm still getting to know Him more. And it's such a blessing and I'm so 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 thankful that I found him or rather that he has found me hallelujah thank you so much Dr. George uh, I want to welcome all those who just connect from around the world you are to the life weekly hope and healing every week I have a special guest from around the world to speak about hope and also to pray for the sick in a few minutes we are going to pray for those who are suffering not only in their psychological or in their soul or in their spirit but also in their body because we have seen so many miracles also i would love to encourage all of you to go to my website jeanlucetraxel.org and by going there you will receive you will be able to register to receive the free weekly hope inspiration Every week, I'm writing something specific, uh, full of energy. It will be a booster for you. It will give you faith, courage, not only for your spiritual life, but for your daily life as a businessman, as a leader, as a student, as a mom, as a dad. So be sure to go to my website. But let's go back to what we were talking about, uh, Christ in us, this hope of glory. Uh, you told us about Christ, about Jesus, uh, and... Uh, how the people can receive Jesus in them. You say mm -hmm. that Christ brings glory. Uh, also, by the way, what's the glory? Mm -hmm. uh, there is some question. People say, oh, I don't know what does mean the glory. Okay. It's a Christian term. Can we explain mm -hmm. that to the people today? Well, yes, of course. The, the glory is a substance, and it's the substance that, that's radiating from God himself. It's it's the substance that fills heaven. It's the substance that filled the Garden of Eden. And we, uh, once we, we, we come to Christ and we come to Jesus, we get access afresh to this 
substance of the glory of God. In this substance, there is everything that God himself is. In this substance, there is healing, there is health, there is provision, there is everything you need for your soul, there is everything you need for your body, there is everything you need for your spirit. Everything is in his glory because the glory is the weight of all that God is. So you really want to get hit by that glory because it really changes your life big time. So it's really important that you get there. And, and Jesus is the way uh, to that glory. And all you actually need to do, as uh, the Bible says, you just need to invite Jesus Christ, who is the hope of glory, who is the certain expectation to, to, to experience the glory of God. You just need to invite him. You just need to say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I receive you as my personal Lord and Savior. Just let me experience your glory. Let me be your disciple. Let me learn from you what the glory of the Father is. Let me get to know God through you. And so, uh, by this simple prayer or a prayer like this, it doesn't have to be word, word per word, the same thing. But just as you pray a prayer like that, you receive Jesus into your life and you make him the Lord of your life. And then, of course, you, you learn more about Jesus while reading the Bible because it's all in there. All, everything you need to know is in the Bible. So you get to in the word of God, you get in the Bible and you, and you, and you develop that relationship with Jesus. And as you develop that relationship with Jesus, the glory of God, the substance of heaven is going to invade more and more of your life. Hallelujah. That's powerful. I can feel something special. Maybe you can feel it. That could be God's glory coming over you. So my friends, I want to propose you as you are watching from around the world tonight to ask Jesus to come in your life. Uh, Pastor George just gave a, a short way how to do it, but mm -hmm. I'm sure he's ready to help you to do this prayer. Maybe he's going to do, do an example of a prayer that you can repeat to help you to ask Jesus to come in you. Because I know that all of you are willing to expect this glory. We need God's glory, especially in this season of the COVID-19. Uh, it's a shaking season. Uh, I know many business people maybe who are watching tonight, you are suffering a lot. You are about or you already had to uh, fire some of your employees. Uh, my wife is in the business. Many times she came home crying because it's a challenging season. And the only way is to go to God and to cry out and to ask him for advice and to ask him for his glory to come that we can find some solution. So tonight, I know all of you, you need Jesus because we deserve this glory. God created us to be in this presence of God and to be in his glory. So Pastor George, would mm -hmm. you agree to pray for those who are watching and who are willing to experience this glory by saying yes to Jesus? Yes. Yes, very much so, Jean-Luc. Thank you for that opportunity. Yes, each and everyone who right now is ready really to receive Jesus into their life and receive this expectancy of his glory uh, invading your life, just right now, if you would just close your eyes and pray this very simple prayer after me, I'm going to pray it before, and then you're going to repeat it word by word, sentence by sentence, and it will help you to receive this glorious, wonderful Jesus in your heart and in your life. So just say after me, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Sir. I thank you that you have come. I thank you that you have come. From heavenly glory. From heavenly glory. To this earth. To this earth. In order to bring me. To bring me. From this earth. From this earth. Back to the glory of the Father. Back to the glory of the Father. Father God in heaven. Father God in heaven. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Where I have not lived with you. Where I have not lived with you. Where I have not kept your commandments. I have not kept your commandments. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That you have sent the Lord Jesus. That you have sent the Lord Jesus. 
and that he has shed his precious blood and that he has shed his precious blood to redeem me to redeem me and to forgive me and to forgive me and to make me a son or a daughter of God and to make me a son or daughter of God Lord Jesus right now Lord Jesus right now I receive you I receive you as my personal Lord and Savior as my personal Lord and Savior come into my heart come into my heart change me from the inside out change me from the inside out come with your glory come with your glory and your Holy Spirit and your Holy Spirit and fill me right now and fill me right now forgive me of all of my sins forgive me all of my sins and make me a brand new creation right now and make me a brand new creation right now amen amen so if you have prayed this prayer this very simple prayer right now right now the lord jesus and the father in heaven takes your word and in the name of jesus i declare over you you are forgiven through the blood of jesus and you are a new creature in him you are his son you are his daughter and his glory belongs to you amen amen oh. receive it the presence of god is coming upon you receive this eternal life the forgiveness of your sin the glory of god is coming upon you but also jesus is coming in you right now bringing you his peace his joy his presence if you've done this prayer i invite you to go to our website i want to know jesus uh, we want to send you some specific things because what you have done it's a prayer to know jesus uh, and it's the first step which is fantastic but now the lord is willing to bring you further please read the bible every day you can download for free on google or wherever whatever you are using uh pray every day prayer is not you don't need to read it's coming out of your heart where you can speak to the lord and the lord is willing to speak and find a local community where you can experience your faith i know in this season it's challenging you can find some of that on youtube but as soon as possible in your region or country find a christian community where you can grow with other brethren god bless you my friend but as we are now flowing in this presence on this river of god's glory we are going now to pray for the sick and if you are sick i would love that you put your faith not in dr george or in myself jean-luc but put your faith in jesus the healer jesus in you the hope of glory so this glory now is the substance that george spoke with carrying the healing presence and what do you want to say for those who are just watching there are so many who are writing uh, expecting their healing touch tonight what in few words can you say to them that they can receive their healing mm. Mm. well I, I would just recommend to you to just relax right now because once you are relaxed you can uh, receive in the most easy easiest way so just relax right now because the glory of the Lord is there for you. You just can let yourself fall into that glory. You, you can uh, let this glory take you over. Just let it come over you as it's already going all over the airwaves. It's nothing that you can perform or nothing that you can do. Just let yourself fall into that glory right now. And just also let go of all your 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 problems and of all your uh, questions and demands because the lord knows them he's just he's just trying to uh, to come into your life and he's he's going to come into your life as you're just yielding to him and just letting yourself fall into this glorious atmosphere which is uh, beyond space and time so no matter where you are right now i'm sitting here in germany but no matter where you are you can receive that same glory that i can already feel here you can already already receive it wherever you are in the name of jesus i release your glory father right now upon all those people and upon all those needy people in the name of jesus oh just help them
to let themselves fall into that glory right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Oh, heal them right now. Heal them right now through the power of your glory, the substance of your glory permeating their bodies right now. It's there. It's already coming. I can see somebody's being healed in their pelvis. They had a problem in their pelvis, but I can see the glory of God is coming into their pelvis. You had probably problems to move or to, to bend over or something like that. Right now, the glory of God is coming into that pelvis area, touching you there right now in the name of Jesus. His healing power, his healing glory is taking over in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 In Jesus' name, I can see somebody's being touched with a glaucoma. Glaucoma in the eyes is being touched right now in the name of Jesus. The pressure on the eyes is being regulated through the glory of God. It's coming into divine order because everything that comes into the glory of God has to come back into divine order because there is no sickness, there is no disease in the glory of the Lord. Hallelujah. So just receive it right now. Somebody's getting touched with a heart issue. You had a heart issue. Um, your, your heart was palpitating uh, in the wrong way. And right now the Lord touches your heart in Jesus' name over the airwaves. Just receive it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's a woman, a woman uh, that is watching us right now, and she has got a, 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 a great trouble in, on her heart concerning her son because your son has a severe disease. It's something like, uh, I, I'm not absolutely sure, but something like cerebral palsy, something like that, that really, uh, uh, really hinders him in a great way, really restricts him in a great way. And, and you, you are, you are, you are, you're, you're really burdened by that situation. But right now, there is Christ, the hope of glory, moving in, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, touching your son in the name of Jesus, out of space and time, beyond space and time, in the name of Jesus. Right now, receive that in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Whenever you have pain in your body, wherever you have pain in your body, just right now, just see yourself falling into that glory where there has been pain. You know, once the pain hits the glory or rather the glory hits the pain, the pain has to leave. So right now, just come with all your pains. Just come with all your movement restrictions. Just let yourself fall into that glory realm right now in the name of Jesus. I I command a loosening over your body right now. I command that pain to leave you right now in the name of Jesus. I command that movement restriction to go from the people right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. And I speak for the glory of God. Filling, filling your bodies right now. Filling that, the, come, touching the, those ligaments, touching those nerves, touching those discs touching those vertebrae in the name of Jesus, even touching some, some, some person's ear right now that's popping. And it, it has, there has been a dullness on the ear right now. It's popping in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It's coming into the glory. So sickness has to leave. Disease has to leave. Everything that doesn't pertain to the glory of God has to leave right now. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. So just as you let yourself fall in the glory right now, uh, do something that you couldn't do before. Just move something where you had pain, where you had movement restriction. Just do something that you couldn't do before because the glory is moving on you. You, you just need to act upon it in Jesus' name because there are miracles all over the place. Hallelujah. Amen. Thanks so much. Welcome for those who just join or tune in. You are live to the weekly Hope and Healing where every week I have a special guest tonight. I'm with my good friend, Dr. George Carl from Germany. We are actually praying for the sick, uh, believing many of you are touched. When God is touching you, like Dr. George says, start to move, check how the Lord is moving, and also share your testimony. It's so important not to keep this testimony for yourself. By keeping it, you just not give back glory to God because it's him who is the healer. And I want to say thank you to all those who are writing. 
because I do this live now since uh, uh, weeks. Every week I'm doing that in different languages. And thanks for all those who are writing us, bringing this testimony. Uh, one of the testimony, if you go that actually to the social media, go to uh, the Instagram or Facebook of IHM or myself of Jean-Luc Traxel Ministries, uh, you will see of this testimony because we post that uh, every week one of the testimony that i just post this afternoon is this one it's just fresh i was suffering since 18 years from terrible migraines when jean luc was praying a strange sweet heat like oil came over my head and removed every pain after 18 years of hell i can live again normally with no more pain at all thank you jesus for this healing if you have headache of migraine, in the name of Jesus, uh, receive right now your healing. There is another testimony, and I'm so grateful for those who are taking the time to write. Uh, one of the testimony is, uh, during the healing prayer, I was healed instantly and miraculously from the tear of the cruciate ligaments. Uh, praise the Lord for this miracle. If you have a trouble on your ligaments, not by might, not by power, but through the Holy Spirit, receive your healing. In the name of Jesus, uh, I exercise now this gift of performing miracle. As you have trouble in the ligament, I put back this ligament in the good place. There is somebody who has terrible pain because you tear your cruciate ligaments as well. But right now, the Lord is healing you in the name of Jesus. I will finish with this last testimony because we have so many. Please go to our social media. But one of the testimonies is so wonderful. Listen that. I was deaf since birth with my left ear. During a miracle and healing service, Jean-Luc gave a word of knowledge in the midst of a huge crowd telling that God was willing to heal somebody from a deaf ear in the seventh row and fourth chair. He came, pointed to me. I was so afraid, not knowing Jean-Luc, and shocked, shocked by, I was shocked by such a precision. He told me a demonic spirit was pinching the nerve in my ear. He took authority in the name of Jesus as God to restore my ear, and instantly I was able to hear perfectly. Only God was able to do such a miracle. It was, I was so touched knowing that Jesus is still alive, that I ask him to forgive my sins and ask him to come into my life to save me. God is real. So my friend, tonight is your night. Pastor George, there is many people who are writing, they are oppressed by the devil, the depression, but some of them are tormented. Also mm -hmm. some they are writing, they have been under witchcraft and curse. Mm -hmm. Many things people are writing, uh, would you agree to set free the people from yes. all this demonic oppression? Yes. yes, yes, Father God, in the name of Jesus, right now, I command all those demonic oppressions to leave people's souls and bodies right now in the name of Jesus. I break every curse that has placed, been placed upon them right now in the name of Jesus. I break it off of them. Every, every dullness in the soul, everything that has clouded their senses in the name of Jesus, it falls off right now in the name of Jesus. Father God, I thank you that each and every familiar spirit that has been come down through the family line, through the family lineage in the name of Jesus right now, through the blood of Jesus, I, uh, I sever this lineage in the name of Jesus. I, I curse this. In the name of Jesus, and I release them from it right now. In the name of Jesus, I can see somebody really with anxiety being just right now, uh, just right now being delivered in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The presence of God is here. If you need healing, just go to the chat and tell very precisely what are you expecting from the Lord. And if you are sick, as we are praying for the sick, just write what you need from the Lord. Like Laurie, she wrote uh, a prayer appreciated. I was diagnosed with stage four cancer. Uh, 
Pastor George, would you agree to pray for Lori, but also many other people who are asking a miracle regarding their suffering with the cancer? Mm -hmm. Yes. Father, you once gave me this revelation. You gave us the revelation here that uh, Jesus talking and saying, my father has conquered cancer. My father is has 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 uh, the, the victory over cancer so right now in the name of jesus i release this victory over cancer in people's lives and i command this spirit of cancer to come out of their bodies right now to come out of their lives right now and i speak healing over their bodies and i command any cancers cancerous cell right now to to die down to leave their bodies and I speak a recreation into their bodies, into their immune system right now in the name of Jesus that their immune system becomes strong again, strong against any disease, any sickness, any cancer in the name of Jesus. I, I speak for the quick recovery for them right now from this terrible disease as we curse it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Cancer is being uh, under our feet. Cancer is being... Uh, uh, under our feet in a victorious way right now in Jesus name thank you Lord thank you Lord Amen, for Amen. 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 I pray for Katrina husband we need healing on his eyes because he has pr blood pressure in Jesus name I release the power of the Holy Spirit over you I pray Lord God for Jerry who say I need prayer for my heart and nervous system my heart rate and blood pressure are too high. And doctor thinks it's anxiety related. Uh, actually, many of you, my friends, uh, you have some turb turbulences uh, in your body, physical body, because you are full of fear and anxiety. And that's not coming from the Lord. God is a God of peace. And what George just shared, just those who just join us, Go back to, after the show to listen back. What's this glory, this substance of God? That's part also where there is peace. And uh, I would love to ask Pastor George to pray for all those who are watching, who are afraid, who are fearful, who are full of the anxiety, like Jerry, uh, and uh, who are afraid because of this COVID-19 to become sick or stuff like that. Uh, uh, Pastor George, would you pray for all these precious people? Hallelujah. Yeah, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that in your glory is full rest and peace. You're saying in Psalms 91, verse 1, He who dwells on the in the secret place of the Lord, he who dwells in the glory of the Lord, rests in the shadow of the Almighty. So right now I release this peace that flows out of your glory, that flows out of knowing that we are your sons and daughters and that you are with, the, with us and that you are covering us with that glory. That right now I release this bubble of your glory all around the people so that they can sense and know that there is a bubble that's sheltering them. There is a bubble all around them, a bubble of your glory that's keeping away the bad stuff, that's keeping away the demons, that's keeping away the sickness, that's keeping away even COVID-19. Hallelujah. Right now, I release this knowledge of the glory of the Lord that's covering the earth as the waters cover the sea. I release this knowledge over each and everyone listening right now that, that they are within that bubble of the glory. Hallelujah. And that no one can touch them from the outside because you are their father and they are their, they are your children. Hallelujah. And they are covered and they are kept safe and secure. So peace be with you. I release peace into your souls. I release peace peace into your mind right now this calmness this peace of faith in jesus name amen i pray for clad who is asking a miracle for the kidney of anne in the name of jesus we pray for this miracle touch the kidney of anne in jesus name i pray lord god for the son of lady france touch him visit him lord god I pray for Philip who is suffering from psychosis. Touch him in the name of Jesus. May your grace be upon him. Lord God, thank you. I pray for 
Blanke who is asking a healing on his eyes, a pathology ocular, she's speaking French. So in the name of Jesus, je commande à tout esprit de maladie de quitter ses yeux et que la vie soit in Jesus' name. Uh, I pray for Carol who is just writing for a mom who has a thrombose. Uh, in the name of Jesus, also in French, je commande à cette thrombose de stopper, embolie pulmonaire. Tu n'as aucun droit sur le corps de la maman de Carole au nom de Jésus. Nous prions pour une guérison. Touche cette maman, je te le demande dans le nom de Jésus. Uh, my friends, please, we are almost at the end of this show, but go to the chat, write it. We want to read it and to pray specifically for all of you. Also, the other way is go to our website of Healing Dash Ministries and for every prayer request, we read it and we pray specifically and we will reply to you specifically. Even if you write to the office, we are ready to send you a prayer cloth. We do believe what the apostle has done. We release the anointing, God's glory on this uh, a beautiful tissue. We send that to you. And we have seen so many miracles through this way, especially on this season, as we cannot touch you, but uh, we have different way how the Lord is willing to touch you. But if you are still on the live or joining us right now, you're on this live weekly hope and healing where the Lord is touching you. Uh, there is Yojita who is asking, she has trouble with ulcers, and uh, reflux and things like that. Actually, there is other people who have trouble with their belly and digestion. Pastor George, will you agree to pray for Yojita and all those who have trouble in their bellies, in their liver? Just put your hands wh where you have pain as Pastor George is going to pray for you. Yes, yes. Right now, I can, I can already see it's the glory that's flowing into your intestines. It's like a golden flow that's right now, that's just coming into your intestines. I released it right now, Father God. I thank you for your angels that are ministering with us in the name of Jesus right now. And this golden stream, this golden flow of your glory is filling all those intestines of the people in the name of Jesus. And the pain leaves, hallelujah, and the troubles go in Jesus' name right now, hallelujah. There is peace coming to your intestines right now you you can already sense it i believe some of you can already sense it just write to us and let us know what's happening because his golden glory is filling you already in jesus name hallelujah amen amen you are many who are asking uh, miracles and healings for your friends uh, I, we are going to pray for that. But one thing I encourage you is to share the good news that Jesus is the hope of glory. Jesus is the healer. So share the post that your friends, your family can receive it. Or maybe as it is so specific, copy the link of this show and send to your friends so they can see that we are praying for them. I pray for Miriam that she can find back peace in the name of Jesus. I pray, Lord God, for Jack who has this hernia, this hernia. I command this hernia to disappear and this, yeah, this hernia, this nerve to be touched by the power of the Holy Spirit. I pray, Lord God, for Sandy. We need the miracles on his ears. Pray for Judith who has a stomach problem. Gabriel. We need also a healing. So many people having back trouble. Be healed in the name of Jesus. The ankle of Soraya be healed in Jesus' name. I pray for Shimon who is asking a miracles as she is suffering from andrometriosis since 10 years. Shimon be free in the name of Jesus. Well, there is so many other prayer requests, but we have to close tonight. But I believe that this healing power is touching you right now. And not only tonight, but during the next year, as some people are going to see, we see that it's thousands of people who are just joining this life during the next days. So God's power is touching you in the name of Jesus. I want to encourage you to go to my website, jeanlucetraxel.org, and I want to send you 
the free weekly inspiration. Uh, it's full of hope and you will receive also testimonies of healing and a specific prayer for your need. So may the Lord bless you. But before we finish, just in few words, Dr. Carl, George, can you give us a word of hope for all these people who are watching worldwide? Mm. Well, I, I just want to encourage you that just as the whole world seems to be, seems to be uh, uh, locked down in some way, you know, you, 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 you get into that position of rest and just become aware that at the same time, the glory of the Lord is already brooding upon this planet and he's already getting ready to, to let new things spring up in his glory. There are new ideas that are coming up in, in your lives. There are new inventions that are coming up. There are new visions that are coming up into in, in you. Just in that time, there are new things springing up. Get ready. Just be expectant in this time. Just don't get lazy or just, just sleepy on your couch, but be expectant at that time. Just as the whole world is being locked down, you are in expectance as the glory is brooding on you and on this planet. And there are new things that are coming down. There's new downloads that are coming down from heaven and you just get ready to receive and you will be so, so well off once this whole thing is over because you will be ahead of the crowd and not, not behind. You will be the, 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 the head and not the tail as the glory of the Lord is inspiring you and giving you the right ideas and giving you the right, the, 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 the right um, uh, actions to, to take after all of that and and you will see his glory move in a mighty way in your life really so be encouraged it's your time it's the best time to be alive as a christian i'm absolutely sure about that and if you are not a christian this is the night to call upon the name of jesus because he's the hope of glory so where you are just say jesus forgive my sin i give you my life and save me. And as you do this prayer, God is going to change your life. It's the most important things to ask God to save us. Pastor George, thanks so much for being with us tonight. I know that many people have been blessed and touched. Uh, I encourage all of you to stay connected with us. Actually, if you're on YouTube, just, um, I forget the name in English, just like it, that you can follow us and you can receive all the things, the impulse for the coming days. We have many surprises that are coming and you will be blessed. Also, go to our website to receive the information. See you the next week. Next week, I have a special guest again for this live weekly hope and healing. But also, we have miracles and healing service. Go to the website. Go to our Instagram or Facebook. You will find all the information. May the Lord bless you. And never forget, there is hope in God. And tonight, to finish, we are going to sing a beautiful song, actually, that was written by our dear friend Paulina for our International Healing Conference. Uh, it was the last year. No, not last year. Last year was, uh, well, it was one of this year. Uh, two years ago, it was in the Netherlands because every year we do the international to different places uh, and the national every year in the different places. Uh, and uh, just go to the website, you will find all this information. But let's sing with Paulina. And as we are singing, I encourage you to be generous. Uh, this show is for free. The gospel is for free. But at the same time, we are so blessed by those who are helping us uh, to do this live stream, also to do conferences and healing the school and different way to bring the healing power to this generation. So I would love really to encourage you to be generous. Uh, you can give to IHM, which is this ministry. Be generous as becoming a monthly covenant partner or just by giving a gift. And tonight, everything that you will give, it will go to Pastor George Carr. We want to bless him. If you have been blessed by his ministry, be generous tonight. You can go with the Q, um, the, the, to scan the QR code or go directly to the website. May the Lord bless you and see you very soon.
dream.